Republic of Rwanda, fellow ministers here present, Professor Victor Harrison, Commissioner for Economic Affairs at the African Union, Honorable Tarek Kamel, Chairperson of the ACB and Governor of the Central Bank of Egypt, Mr. Abbe Selassie, Director of African Partments at the International Monetary Fund, fellow governors, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is my pleasure and honor to welcome you all to this symposium uh, preceding the 42nd annual meeting of the Association of African Central Banks. In a special way, I want to thank you, Vice Honor Prime Minister, for honoring us with your presence despite your very busy schedule. Your presence in this African Central Bank Symposium represents His Excellency the President of the Republic of Rwanda, further demonstrates the importance the government of Rwanda attaches to African unity. I also want to thank our main cause of today, Mr. Abe Selassie, Director of African Department at the IMF, representing the Managing Director as our keynote speaker of today. Dr. Vera Songwe, Executive Secretary of the United Nations Commission for Africa. Dr. Donald Kaberuka, former President of the African Development Bank and the current Chair of the Board of the Global Fund. Mr. Gary Nobert, Principal Advisor, Directorate General of International Relations at the European Central Bank. And Professor Beno Nduru, former Governor of Bank of Tanzania. Fellow Governors, once again, thank you for granting Rwanda the honor of hosting you for this year's annual meetings and symposium. I hope you have enjoyed your stay so far and will continue to enjoy the Rwandan hospitality. Right one of Prime Minister, distinguished participants, following the decision of the African Heads of State in 1963, the Association of African Central Bank was founded in 1965. In line with the African Union mandate and vision, the association has objectives to promote cooperation in monetary, banking, and financial spheres, spheres on the African continent, as well as to prepare and coordinate efforts toward introducing a single currency and a common central bank for Africa. It is in that context that on an annual basis, on top of monitoring the progress in economic and monetary integration of the African continent, the central bank governors and other international institutions and academia take a day to discuss trending issues that concern the sustainability of economic growth and development across the continent. It is in that spirit that we gather here today for this annual symposium under the theme the rising African sovereign debt, implications for monetary policy and financial stability. Right one of Prime Minister, participants, prior to this theme for rising sovereign debt, it should be noted that this is not a unique problem to Africa. In fact, many global economies are facing challenges of high and rising sovereign debt as data from the IMF shows. In 2017, sovereign debt in advanced economies was averaging 266% of GDP. All that of emerging markets was at 168%. In the same year, average public debt for African continent was at 45%. With 19 countries above the 6%, the then threshold set by African Monetary Corporation program. Looking at numbers, one would wonder why we had to educate all day to discuss debt when Africa's debt would be very low compared to the rest of the world. The structure of the economies, the structure of our economies that relies heavily on commodity exports susceptible to price shocks and the vulnerabilities associated with that 
plus the nature of debt contracted by many of our countries are some of the reasons why African sovereign debt is what is worth a the increase of this sovereign debt from 25% 10 years ago to the 45% mentioned above is another concern. As central bankers, of course, we intend to focus our discussion today on how this increasing sovereign debt may affect the effectiveness of monetary policy as well as financial stability of our economies. Right Honourable Prime Minister, distinguished participants, we are talking about debt numbers across the world and in Africa in particular, basing on reports of 2017, we are meeting today at a time when the global economy is subdued, is subdued and sluggish. And this may threaten to worsen these debt numbers across the world. Just last week, the IMF announced that it had revised global GDP growth projections for the year 2019 and 2020 because of the likely negative impacts of trade wars between the US and China, plus the uncertainty surrounding Brexit. We have a saying in Kinyarwanda which could literally be translated as, when two elephants fight, it's the grass that suffers. It would not be far-fetched to say that if we Africans don't put our act together, we will easily be at the mass of the feet of the two global giants fighting each other. It's on that note that on behalf of my colleagues and through you, right one of Prime Minister, I want to congratulate His Excellency President Paul Kagame and the other heads of state for this month's historic achievement of the entry into force of the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, signed just a year ago here same building and same the of our leaders to Africa demonstrated a historic one, give us confidence that we will solidify our continent into a rock that will stand the global economic challenges. We African Central Bank governors can only commit to you that we will collectively and individually play our part in this important journey our continent has embarked on. Right one of our Prime Minister, distinguished participants, let me conclude by thanking the organizing committee of this uh, meeting for the good job done so far. Special thanks to the Rwanda Convention Bureau, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and other agencies for their valuable support. I wish all of us fruitful and interactive symposium. And to my colleagues, I invite you to take time off the schedules of these meetings and explore the many attractions Kigali has to offer. Be assured of your security at any time of the day or the night and anywhere in the country. I thank you for your good attention.